प्लीज गेट रेडी फॉर डिक्टेशन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज नंबर 18 फ्रॉम प्रोग्रेसिव मैगजीन ऑफ मे 2023 इट इज टाइटल्ड एज मिस रिलियस सब्जेक्ट 5 सेकंड्स टू गो 11 डेज अगो ऑन इंटरनेशनल वुमेंस डे वी रीअर्फॉर्म्ड आवर कमिटमेंट टू द इकोनॉमिक एंपावरमेंट ऑफ आवर सिस्टर्स एंड मदर्स today i am happy to announce that for the poorest women substantial progress is being made to provide them financial security educating girls is the most valuable investment that any country can make in its future i am delighted to know that the specially designed insurance scheme that guarantees funds for education has also started functioning well on august 15 last year i had told my fellow citizens that my government would launch two new insurance schemes for the benefit of the women of the country now the first would provide funds for girls to complete their education if they lost either of their parents the second would provide an income to women who lost their husbands or who became disabled i had said that these schemes would be operational on diwali thanks to the hard work done by the general insurance corporation and its four subsidiaries this deadline was met today more than 100000 policies have already been sold friends bharat ratna dr amrita sen who won last year's nobel prize for economics has long said that government must invest much more in the social sector and that education for all is the first priority of every developing country these are my beliefs too while the provision of education is the responsibility of the states the center can and must do everything possible to assist them in fulfilling this obligation the new scheme is one step forward by the center in contributing its might this scheme recognizes the reality of rural india where the provision of education to children especially to girls is not always the first priority of parents and even less so if the breadwinner of the family passes away leaving the family dependent on others girls are always the first to be taken out of school and put into other work the new scheme will hopefully change this as it will provide money to let them continue their education thus while it is the states who have to increase the supply of education this scheme will increase the demand for education i would like the states to be prepared to meet this demand by suitably upgrading their educational infrastructure they should open new schools to provide education to girls in the respective states now these schemes shall in a long way provide a lot of social security to the families and women in general many widows 
are not treated well in our society. They lose their financial security. They are forced to depend on others who may exploit them in every way. The same also applies to self-employed women who, if they are disabled and hence cannot earn any more, become dependent on others. The new insurance policy for women will provide some financial help and hence independence to our women folk. These two schemes will thus achieve an important social objective, providing a safety net to our mothers, sisters and daughters. The best part is that they do so without the government having to spend any money. This is done through the miracle of group insurance, where by paying nominal sums by everyone ensures that the small proportion who need the money will get it. Friends, there is a big debate about insurance sector reforms. We hope to allow new Indian insurance companies to enter the market soon and compete with the existing players. What is forgotten, though, is the contribution of the existing players. They have expanded the insurance market and have provided risk cover to all kinds of businesses and people. What is important, though, is that they are also providing this risk cover to the poor and the powerless by these and other schemes. I compliment them for this. Provision of these schemes, however, is not an obligation forced on them by an unwilling owner the government. Rather, thanks to their competence, these schemes are viable on their own. I would like that all future insurance companies also show their commitment to every section of society. They must compete with the existing players in providing better risk coverage to the well-off. At the same time, they must also compete in providing coverage to the poorest. Making new insurance schemes a success will, however, require the participation of the state government in a big way. They can and must take coverage of their residents in a larger way. For instance, every gram panchayat can ensure all its girls and women and so can every municipality. This will earn them a discount. Ensuring one crore girls will cost only rupees 8 to 14 crore in a, a year which every state can afford. Ensuring one crore women will cost only rupees 5 to 6 crore which again every state can afford. States must also collaborate with the General Insurance Corporation and its affiliates in ensuring better delivery of these schemes. No widow 
or disabled women or orphan girl should have to go to some distant office and furnish all kinds of papers to some uncaring official to show that she is eligible to receive the benefits stop